Hello you guys, in today's video I'd like to show you how you could potentially repair the bad idle on your BMW. In my case I was having some Valvetronic issues and some misfires. There are a variety of cars that have a similar valve lift, but in this case we have the Valvetronic system which is in a mostly all BMW lift from 2000 on. For those who don't know about Valvetronic, it is really similar to the VTEC and Hondas. In this case for BMW, the cylinder heads with the Valvetronic system use an extra set of rocker arms positioned between the valve stem and the camshaft. This movement alone without any movement of the intake camshaft can vary from the intake valve from lifting it all the way open for maximum power to closing it at idle. At times, since it is electric, the motor could develop some errors over time and it doesn't know when it's fully closed or fully open. So when this happens, we have to use a software to relearn the values from fully open to closed. With the help of a $20 cable and a free software, we should be able to get this repaired. If you have a BMW that ranges from the year 2000 to 2009, you're gonna be using this cable. And if you have one that's 2010 or newer, you're going to need this other type of cable. And for the software, I'm honestly going to be linking someone else's video. It's a really great video and I would really recommend it. This guy shows you how to install it, but also keep in mind that you do need 250 gigs to install it. And lastly, you're going to need your battery to be fully charged. If you don't have it fully charged, the software might not work. You can recharge your battery by turning on the car or simply charging it with your charger. If you don't know how to charge it, I'll be leaving links down below. So here's how my car runs. It's really, really rough. As you can see, the idle moves up and down, it has some misfires, and it's giving me some Valvetronic issues. So we're going to start off by plugging in the OBD2 connector that's going to be on the driver's side. Then you're going to plug in the other side to your computer. Before you start the software, you want to have your engine running. You're going to start ISTA. And after it's done loading, we're going to go ahead and press read out vehicle data. Your VIN's going to pop up, go ahead and click it. Then it's going to load for a while. Then you're going to see this. Pretty much all the yellow rectangles are going to be your fault codes. You want to go ahead and press vehicle management, then click troubleshooting. After it shows the errors, you're going to go ahead and go to service functions. Click on powertrain, and then scroll down to start of Valtronic. So from here, it's just going to walk you through the process. Then this process is going to start. In my case, for my car, it was 450 cycles. Some other cars may take less or more cycles. My car actually turned off in number seven, which is okay. Just go ahead and close down the program completely and then restart it again. And you're going to follow the same steps. It only took two tries in my car. And yeah, my car now idles perfectly and I passed my smog. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all for this tutorial. I hope you get your car running perfectly. And as always, thank you all for watching and see you in the next one.